Next month. She didn't go for explanation. Right. I don't need you to explain where he is, who he is, what he's doing, whether or not I am uh, 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 working uh, correctly with my homiletics and homiletics and, and parsing my verbs and carrying on. No, I didn't come here for that. Come on. If I wanted grammar, I'll go to school. I'd go talk to the English teacher. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to know something about money, I'd ask a banker. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to know something about how watch works, I'd ask the watchmaker. Yeah. It's kind of like the old lady who went to buy a stove. And she went into a hardware store to purchase a new stove. And one of the young salesmen came up to her and said, ma'am, how might I help you? She said, son, I came here to see if y'all had any new stoves because mine done seen its better days. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, yes, we have some in the back. If you don't mind, you walk back here and I'll show you some of the new stoves we have. And uh, he went to tell us, well, this one over here, you might be interested in this one. This one is made of such and such and she walked off from there and he showed her another one and said, well, this one is, uh, is so many uh, feet long and it, so many inches from the floor. It's made of cast iron and iron is so many inches thick and it has this and that on She said, son, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not interested in all of that. He said, all I want to know is will that so keep an old woman warm during the cold summer. Come on, come on, come on. Somehow in our churches, we have missed it. We missed it. Will that? Honorable has integrity. A man of God that lets you know that uh, who his rights belong to mm -hmm. and to whom he represents. A man of God. Mm -hmm. A man of God. A man of God. And we're here today to begin the march toward a great climactic event to celebrate this preacher in his 40 years of service. There's something about coming to this pulpit that makes my preaching lengthy, so I'm going to have to cut it. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I just no, enjoy do standing with Gerald Peavy's hands because I know that I'm standing in a place where a man who feared God. Yeah. Now let me say this. This is a little bit off the cuff. Gerald Peavy is aware of his limitations. Mm -hmm. But all the time that I've known him, I've never known him to use his limitations as an excuse for poor preparation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he has walked with some scholarship, preachers who have scholarship, but I've never known him to take a back seat to And you know why that is so? It's because he's aware of it. That's all he brings to the table. But whatever he brings to the table, he says, Lord, use this. Oh, this is all mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it comes with a sense of dependency on God. Yeah. Not on his brain and intellect. Not on his scholarship, but on, can I use this word, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, for some of us, the Holy Spirit is a stranger. Mm -hmm. 
We have our little religious moments, but do we know that there is a Holy Spirit? Yeah, part time. It'd be part time. Let me do this so I can be true to the text now. For showing us or telling us. You know why, Gerald, you still have people after 40 years? They're still coming here because you have shown them the way. Y'all yeah. gotta excuse me, I get my sweat rag right out of here. It's all right. For showing what way? What way? Which way? Which road should we take? And where did this road lead? I'm living in the city, the fourth largest city in America, where there are mega churches. I call them aircraft carriers. That's the largest ship in the Navy. Mm -hmm. uh, 100 airplanes can sit on this deck at one time. Mm -hmm. But we're watching aircraft carriers. Mm -hmm. wow. Yep. Wow. Because the era of mega churches is over. Yeah. I know you're not paying any attention to this, but I'm going to throw this in here. It's off cuff. Mm -hmm. But it's not how you start. <laughs> it's how you finish. Yeah. And some of these brothers are going to finish in shame. You better start paying attention. We've seen a lot of rock stars, superstars. King of rock, king of pop, king of this, queen of that. But are you paying attention as to how they're closing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you paying attention how Michael Jackson went out? How Prince went out? And how some of the others went out? Are you paying attention? That. How Biggie went out, how Tupac went out, are you paying any attention to it? We need the man of God so he can show us the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the man fame and money won't do it. No, no. You need to know God. Yeah, yeah. And the curtain is closing on all of us. But I want you to know. When the curtain closed on me, where I stand. For Christ I live and Christ I die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to stay with God. I'm not going to take my driver's license and tie him up and go follow nobody. Yeah. I'm not walking out this door following no holy man or holy woman. Yeah. The only way I will follow them, I'm going to ask them this question. Show me your hand. Yeah. Mm, that's right. And if your hand doesn't uh, reveal any <laughs> stars. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Let me see your side. Has it been pierced? Yeah. For the glory of God. And I know we're caught up in this word. Everybody says it. Now, I'm blessed. But I asked a couple of people the other day. I said, yeah, you blessed? I said, a horse blessed. He woke him up this morning and a mosquito bit me. It's blessed. The alligator is blessed. The frog is blessed. The dog is blessed. Don't be here barking. God made it. The bark is barking. Mm -hmm. I heard the rooster about 5.30 this morning. Crowing. It's blessed. But are you bleeding? Mm -hmm. Are you bleeding? See, you have to check out which one of the crosses that you own. There are three of them here. There's one that says, I would, but I want some exemptions. Yeah. I would get religion. I would get serious, but I don't want to get sick. I would follow, but I don't want any failures. I would surrender, but I don't want any sacrifices. So if religion can get me wealth and health and money, popularity, fame, and positions, 
I will win it. Yeah. You better check the cost. Yeah. 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 One of them said, now, if you can do all of this, yeah. 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 if you are yeah. the Son of God, yeah. come down and save yourself mm. and save us. Mm. But that was a no. Thank yeah. God yeah. for the other one. I'll soon be true. Thank God for the other one that said to him, I've had a change of mind. Yeah. Yeah. Hanging out here on this cross with you. And we've been here for almost six hours. Bugs, a buzzing, gnawing, flies, pain, blood, suffering. The crowd uh, has taunted us. Your hands are nailed, mine are tied. Your feet have been nailed, but mine are free. Mm -hmm. Lord, will you?
but it took him 40 years. How did 11 days turn into 40 years? You know how? Out of disobedience and unbelief. Unbelief is really rebellion. Let me close with this for showing us or telling us 